Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video, I hope you guys are doing well, Mob Phoenix is speaking here and today I would like to bring you guys 5 really good useful tools that I use to augment my experience with Path of Exile. Before we proceed to the list though, I would like to thank you guys for all the subscribers that we've got in the past few weeks. You guys are amazing, we are almost hitting 500 subscribers and I am really grateful to you guys. You guys rock, you guys are incredible and thanks a lot. And if you are not subscribed yet, I would like to remind you to subscribe to the channel in the button below. Uh, remember to activate the notification bell to be alerted from further uh, content that I publish here on YouTube. And let's go directly to the list. So the first tool of our list that I would like to highlight here in this video is the Path of Building. Uh, you can download Path of Building directly from GitHub. I'll leave the link in the description below. And then you can go down to this part and download it, either the zip version and then unpack it in your computer or the executable version of the installer install it in your computer and then it will open up this uh, this program right here and what is path of building well path of building is uh, a way for you to create your builds or to see builds from other players uh, without you having to level them yourself into the game and have to spend a lot of hours into leveling into trying to find your perfect gear so you can plan your build here to, de to then level it in the game and not waste time in the game or resources in the game because we know that Path of Exile can be very unforgiving with resource spending into builds so if you plan your build before and know exactly what you want to, to build it's a way clearer path that you have to follow. So how does it work? Well, there are a few things in here that we can uh, explore a little bit. You can create new builds just clicking by new here and it will open this window uh, and then you can save the build. So if I save right here like test build, you can see that I have folders to save it, but I can save right into the tree. And if I come here, this is my tree of the, the program, uh, I'll have my task build right here. So a level 1 scion. Another thing we can do right at this spot is create a new folder. So let's say I will create a 3.11 uh, pre-announcement folder. And then it creates a folder right here. If I enter the folder, it's empty. I can create new builds, save, test. 3.11 and as I come back this build is going to be saved right in this folder not in the builds folder so uh, just a way to organize your builds I took a long time to learn that you could organize your builds like this so uh, that for me was a huge step and well after that you can create a build from scratch like I did and start spending your points so in here I have a scion, but let's say I want to create a duelist and I want it to be a Slayer Ascension. Uh, so, as you can see, as I highlighted Slayer, it highlighted down there for me. If I highlight Gladiator, it will highlight this one. I can distribute my points. I can also distribute, distribute my points over the skill tree. And then I can play in my character. It even has a way to select the shorter path. So let's say that I want this uh, node to be part of my build. I can select it and it will trace the shorter path to get this node. Or I can trace the route myself. So it's a really useful uh, tool. It has a lot of stats that you can play over here. It has a lot of configuration that you can do. So let's say you can use power charges, you can use frenzy charges, and those also change your stats and calculations. If you go to the Cox part of the, the, the tool, you can see a lot of different math here that you can play. But it's just an amazing tool for you to plan your characters. If I open, uh, let's not save this one, but if I open up a character that I planned before, let's say the 3.10 uh, last builds and go to my RF Juggernaut, you can see that I have my full tree here with all the cluster uh, Jews, uh, with all uh, the other Jews that I, I planned to, to buy. And 
in the the skills tab you have all your skills with all uh, the support gems in the items tab you have all your items you can even search for unique items to add to your um, to your item set right here you can create different item sets or you can just craft a different item from any base of the game and just uh, put it into your build into your plan here and just try to acquire this item later during the game so it's just a very beautiful well-made planner that help you a lot and that's it that's my first helpful tool that I want to leave it here the second tool I want to highlight here is poe.ninja poe.ninja is a database uh, collection for all items stats and builds from uh, the economy of a present league so a present and also a standard league so within this tool you can play here with the league that you want to acquire data from so we have right now delirium and hardcore delirium or standard and hardcore if you want to grab data from those other leagues so always the present leagues that are active um, and we have in this economy tab right here we have all the currency all the items all the cards so everything that is part of the economy of the game you can find in this tab and what can you do so if you click in the currency for example you can see all the currency in the game all the values of the currency in the game so what are they being trade off for and how much you can pay to acquire them and stuff like that if you are in the trade league um, and also if you're not in the trade league you can see what items are the most desired ones so uh, the most expensive ones are probably the ones that people really want to grab uh, their hands on so if we click on unique weapons you can see that the savior is one of the most expensive weapons and if we click here in the graph icon you can see that it brings the the the, the icon the, the the item itself and it will always also bring a history of this item so the history of the prices of this item as we can see the prices are falling down so it came from 5.2k in march 22 to uh seven six hundred six hundred and fifty chaos right now so it's understandable that as more people get more of that item the price of that item will drop and also this league melee builds are not doing you know the the main spot of the build because of the herald stacking stuff and everything so uh it's it's logic that the prices is going to fall for this one but if we go for unique armors for example you can see that most prices are also dropping uh, if we go for unique accessories we can see that it's also doing the same and that is just because we are almost in the end of the league so people are stopping playing and are selling stuff uh, as cheap as they can so they get rid of all that amount of loot that they don't want anymore but this is uh, not 100% reliable so if we go and search for a headhunter on any trade site we are going to see that the price is a little bit higher than 87 exalts right now for this item that's just because there are some people who price fix these items and they drop a little bit the price for them so for example there are two or three players who have a lot of headhunters and they list those headhunters for 10 exalts or 20 exalts something that the tool will not consider as an error and they will drop the price for that item uh, this is a statistic tool so it's normal to have some errors so i would really recommend checking the items here but also checking the items in uh, other uh, trade item trade sites so you have the correct value of those items when you are going to buy or sell them all right but for me the biggest part of this website is the builds tab so if we go here to the builds tab we can see all the builds that i have been playing 
uh, that people have been playing uh, we can see statistics on how many builds we have on the top level so as we are in the end of the league they show only level 99 and 100 but usually in the beginning of the league they come from level 90 to 100 then they they start to narrow it a little bit more as more and more players reach those numbers uh, so they get they grab the, the the highest level of the highest players and put it then all in here and for example let's say that I want to see builds from I don't like to play guardians I don't want to see builds of elementalists so I just click the icon here and they change the entire results so I can see what skills are they playing so if I come here I can see the amount of skills that they are playing so a lot of people 28% of the elementalists are playing summon, st summon stone golem a lot of them 10% are playing arc blade vortex 9% are Vol Arc and Vol Blade Vortex, that makes sense. So, uh, in this particular tool, you can see a lot of stuff like that, but uh, you can also search, for example, for everyone who's playing, uh, let's say, I want to see everyone who's playing Vortex. So, you would expect everyone who's playing Vortex to be playing Occultist, but no, we have other builds that are also using as Assassin, as Guardians, as uh, Tricksters. So let's say that, well, I really find interesting to see what Tricksters are playing that. So I have that selected. I will come up, up here, select Trickster as well. And then I can see there are three players on the top 99, 100 levels that are playing Tricksters. I can even select for the biggest uh, energy shield one or the biggest depth that they went through uh, and then select the one that I want to see the most, let's say the one that I want uh, the, the biggest energy shield one. So I click this search button here, it will open in the same tree, in the same tab, you can open in a different one if you want and it will open all the details from that build, that specific build. Uh, so I can see all the stats that he has, I can see um, this, the items that he's using, and if I go down here I can see his skill tree and also the skills that he's, he's using. And this one complements really well with the first tool that I said because if you want to you can go up here and say copy POB code path of building code then you copy the code you come back to the tool you create a new build just to not overlap with any other build that you are trying to play then you click on import export build and then you paste the code right here right in this field to import a build enter the code here then when you click import there we go. We have the entire build of that player. Uh, we can go to skills and see all the skills and details in, in Path of Building, the items that he's using. So that's a good way to understand what the top players are playing and to try to copy or maybe try to tweak a little bit the builds that they are playing to uh, you know fit your amount of currency that you have or the items that you found if you're playing solo cell found maybe um, so this is a very useful combo of tools that i would like to show you guys right here the third one after the little spoiler that i want to show you guys is the poe lab so poe lab is a very useful uh, tool that I use uh, it has a lot of things here that you can search for so there are guides there are sheet sheets uh, there are tools that they they put in here but the most useful thing that I use in POE lab is the da daily layouts of labs so let's say I leveled a character to level 34 I want to do the first lab I just click here in normal lab open in a new window be careful to all the the propaganda that they put in here and then I can check out the layout so we always have the countdown to daily labyrinth reset so the labyrinths are reset every day and they post a new labyrinth every single day and then we have all the layout for the labyrinth so um, how do I read this thing so for example 
let's say that the you enter the first area of the lab is always this number one and then you can see the other areas as you go through so in the first one the exit for the first uh, uh, the first trial is on the up right corner so when you look down here in the map if you are looking in your map inside the game this exit will be in the right up right top corner of the map so you can follow the right top corner it's going to be around that area if you have two exits like this one is a better reference to try to find there will be two exits one is going to be more to top left and the other more to top right if you have three like this one one is probably down left right here the other is straight up and the other one is uh, in the top right corner so this is a good way to try to map your way through the labyrinth and try to get the best rewards as you go for me i usually just go for this straight path the shorter path as possible even if i have uh dark shrines because i don't like to do the labs that much not many people like to do them so uh if you are trying to find the shortest route that's the best way to do it so um and if you go to the Uber Labyrinth, uh, usually there is always a comment here uh, saying a few things about the layout of the day. So they say if uh, the, the size of the length, what it is, so it's medium, small or big. Uh, the routes of the Dark Shrines, if you're trying to farm all the Dark Shrines to get uh, the Twice Enchanted mod to be able to enchant your uh, items twice in the Labyrinth. Uh, they say if its layout is bad or good, in this case it's bad because you have to go through 9 rooms and you have to go one room out of your route to get all of them. So in this one, for example, the shortest run is top left, top left, top right. But to get the other Dark Shrine you would have to go to one top right and then one top right here. So you have a uh, biggest path to... to achieve the same results because this room is probably bigger than this one so that's uh, why they say it's bad in this case uh, there is also the key routes uh, so to get all the keys in this upper lab you would have to defeat argus you'd have to grab all the keys to open the golden doors to open the the silver lockets uh, and the the end to get all the keys for the end of the labyrinth you would have to kill Izaro quickly the first time kill it quickly the second time and to find the silver locket in one of those rooms so that's why they say it's bad for all the key routes as well because you have to go to two side rooms to complete it uh, completely and the full run is also a bad one because it's too long some days it's going to be good, some days it's going to be bad. You can always check this route and try to plan your next build uh, when you want to run the labs according to the layouts. The fourth tool I want to show you guys is the Path of Exile wiki, uh, the Wikipedia kind of to Path of Exile. Uh, and I really like to use this site when I don't know exactly uh, what items uh, what the item does or, or what do I need to do to a certain skill for it to work perfectly so if we go to the search in Path of Exile wiki here uh, I can search for example for the fireball skill let's say I want to build a fireball build then it's going to bring me this skill and say everything that the skill does all the functions and interactions of that skill all the gem level progression to that skill, the fire damage, the ignite chance, uh, the radius and stuff like that through the levels, the amount of XP I need to go through to get to that level. Also there are upgrade paths for the, the gems for me to find those gems on level 20, level 21 or superior gems. Uh, there are the vendor rewards that can give me those gems or the the quest that they are going to give me those gems and also the threshold uh, jewels that I can expect uh, 
to to find for that gen not the cluster juice the the threshold juice that interact well with that skill also there is the helmet enchantments for that skill uh, for skills in this case uh, and also microtransactions available for it so it's a very complete and detailed uh, wiki for everything that is inside of the game of course for things that are uh, on the 3.10 patch it's still getting updates uh, weekly or daily people help to share with their uh, their view their uh, information that they acquired from stuff so it's a tool that's constantly being updated and the last one that is really 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 useful for every player in path of exile is the filter blade dot xyz this is a very useful website that can create loot filters for you to use inside of the game. How does that work? Well, you can come in here and you can select any type of strictness to your filter, any type. Uh, it's loading the strictness. Uh, so you can select any kind of those strictness and there is even a, a little preview on what they do. Um, so you can select them according to what you want to show in your screen uh, you can select styles so you can change the colors of the things so let's say that you want to say uh, to get a velvet style to your items or you want to get a vol style to your items or as right styles for your items so you can change a lot on how you are going to show the items that are dropping on the ground for you you can even change the sounds of the item so if you go to select presets and select different items you can get different items like for example the slippery gym one that i think is the most funny one and all the sounds that you can get and after selecting everything you can customize in the other uh, tabs you can simulate what are the, the the items going to drop like you can select different styles for colors bother colors backgrounds and more advanced stuff that I never got really into and in the end you can save your filters into categories when you sing with path of exile and you can download the filters when you download the filters you can change the name so test filter for example uh, you can download the filter it's going to download here I'm already in the right uh, folder so you need to go to this computer documents my games path of exile and inside of path of exile here drop the loot filter that you're downloading if you are downloading with sounds with different sounds it's going to be zipped with all the files inside of it so you have to extract also the sounds into this folder and then you save everything in this folder and voila it's inside your game you can also sync with path of exile when you sing in with your account here and then you can check directly from path of exile uh, website if it's synced correctly uh, for me this function doesn't work very well but it's because uh, I am not using it very well uh, so that's it that's a perfect uh, tool to help you be more efficient and be as fast as possible in Path of Exile and for a sixth and special tool uh, that I use on Trade League but you don't necessarily need to use this one if you're not playing on Trade League is the pathofexile.com slash trade so this is uh, the official trade website from Path of Exile and it's in this site that you search for different items that you want to buy different items that you want to see the price and stuff like that so for example if I want a specific item a unique item I can type the name for example voices was a very popular item this uh, this season so I can just search here for voices and check it out for the prices of it alright but if I want to check it out the specific 
prices of items I can change the stats here so I can add specific stats for example let's say I want the voices cluster Jew um, with five small passive nodes so I would just have to go oh the prices of the voices dropped a lot so if you haven't played yet that's your chance to try to play it with a small budget um, so yeah if you want to find a specific one so let's say you want the five node you just have to you can copy this part small passive skills and you can add a stat filter here and put added small passive skills um, and then which grant nothing and then you can put that the maximum that you want is five and then when you search it's going to bring adds five small passive skills um, then you can upgrade the filter and search the one for one which is the most expensive one and it's being sold by one by two mirrors of Calandra so you can specify what you want to, to find uh, specify the items that you want to find the type of the item the weapon filters uh, the socket filters specific socket filters um, for gems you can specify the quality of the gems the level of the gems so there are a lot of different types of filters you can apply well and that's it that that were my five or six in this case tools that I really would like to use in Path of Exile that augments my experience if you want to understand each one of these or any of these a little bit better please leave in the comments below that I can make a specific video on each one of them explaining all the specifics from the the tools uh, if that helped you in any kind of way please leave a like uh, below to support the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and activate the notification bell to receive further updates on path of exile and more and i hope to see you guys on the next videos bye bye